Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite... <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> Hello everyone. Today I want to share with you my five top favorite parenting books. And I have had a lot of questions over the last few weeks about parenting resources. So I thought I would share with you my top five. If you want to know um, all of the parenting resources that I have enjoyed and benefited from, I have all of those listed on a page on my website, so I will leave that linked down below. Or you can just go to JanelleKnutson.com and you will see a little parenting icon. You can click on that and it'll take you to that page. But if you can only read a few parenting books, these are my top five from um, parenting little kids all the way up to parenting adults. And so let's jump in and get started. One thing that I do wanna say really quickly is that um, while I love these parenting books and while I highly recommend them, they are my top five, that does not mean that I agree 100% with every single thing that is written in the book or everything that that particular author has ever written um, or believes on everything. Obviously, these are books there you go. These are books that are written by men and women who are trying to faithfully read the scripture and take the truth of God's word and apply it very practically to our role as parents. And so obviously the Bible is the only thing that's without error. So obviously use discernment when you're reading these books, but they still are excellent books. And I do agree with most of the things in them. You might notice that I'm recording in a different space than I usually do. And that's because I'm a mom of seven children and I have children to take care of. And so usually when I record videos, my big kids are watching my little ones, but they are all gone doing fun stuff. So I'm here trying to juggle recording videos and playing balloons with my little guy, right? <laughs> Thank you. Now you catch. <laughs> all right, the first book that I recommend is Shepherding a Child's Heart by Ted Tripp. This is a great book for helping us think about the role of parenting as um, not just correcting our children's behavior, but getting to the heart issues of our children. So this is one that I highly, highly recommend. Another one that I recommend is this one, Give Them Grace, Dazzling Your Kids with the Love of Jesus. There goes the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> this one is by Elise Fitzpatrick and Jessica Thomas. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is a totally different video than I normally do. <laughs> this book is... What I love about this book is that it, I think while Give Them Grace was a good title, it really should be Give Them the Gospel because that's what this book is doing. It's helping our kids, uh, helping us as parents know how to teach our kids the gospel, teach them about God's grace, about the love of God in their lives. And so when we are disciplining them, correcting them, speaking the gospel truth to them. And this book is very, very practical. It gives lots of examples about how to have those gospel grace-filled conversations with our kids. So highly recommend this one as well. Another one that I recommend really for all parents to read, no matter what age your kids are, is this one right here. It's called Parenting, 14 Gospel Principles That Can Radically Change Your Family by Paul David Tripp. This is just a great book. It is exactly what it says. It is 14 gospel principles that will radically change your family. They'll change your family because they'll change you first, and then they will change the way that you parent and you interact with your kids, whether those are little kids or your adult kids as well. So highly recommend this one. The fourth one that I recommend has to do with parenting teenagers. This is called Age of Opportunity, A Biblical Guide to Parenting Teens. This is by Paul David Tripp as well. Um, I believe that there's a new edition, so it probably has, whoop, a different cover than this one, but this is an excellent book. If you're parenting teens or you're getting ready to parent teens and you're thinking, 
Everybody says that the teen years are horrible and hard and difficult. Let this book speak truth into your life. This book is going to help you to see those teen years as an age, a time of great opportunity to helping um, speak truth into your kids' lives, into your teens, and really to shape them into who God wants them to be. So highly, highly recommend this one if you are parenting teens. Now, the last book I recommend parenting book is for those of you who are in the stage of life where you are parenting adult children. I have an adult child now, and so I'm going, I need help, and how do I interact with my child who is now an adult? And so this is a great one. It's called You Never Stop Being a Parent, Thriving in Relationship with Your Adult Children. It is by Jim Neuheiser and Elise Fitzpatrick. This is a great read for um, those of us who now have children who are adults and we're wondering how do we balance that role of being their friend, being their parent. They're adults now so we don't have that same control over their lives. How do we do that? And this is a great resource. I honestly don't know any other resource out there for us parents on how to parent and interact with our adult children and to really, as it says, have a thriving, healthy relationship. So highly recommend that one as well. Now I have a lot of other, like I said, great books for parenting and other resources, videos and links to other articles and links, um, links to links. Yeah. All of those resources are listed in my parenting page over on my website. So like I said, I will leave a link to those down below. I hope you found these resources helpful and you got to watch me just a little bit um, interact with my little one. Bye moms. Go. Oh, got it. Ready? Yeah.